beauty squad how are y'all welcome welcome to the live stream that I almost forgot about hey Jacqueline girl you like me I almost forgot I had my own damn live going on <laughs> so I don't need reminders <laughs> I always try to remind everybody, hey, my bestie, Nancy. And that's the time I forget. So I appreciate you to the max. So just know when you do go live, you have to let me know ahead of time. Because I am absent-minded as hell with my own shit, too. How is everyone tonight? I really like these. Hey, my BB. You get your uh, epic, epic makeup collection put away. <laughs> these are really, really good. I got it for like a dollar fifty, but look how big they are compared to. Hold on, let me show y'all the normal one. Okay, well, I can't find the normals. Y'all know what the normals look like anyways, right? Look how big these are. These are freaking massive. They're oval pads. And you get 80 in here. And I just feel, hey, my beautiful bestie. You got me wanting to clean up my area. I need to do that, too. I've got so much foundations that I've got over the past month and a half. I haven't put up. And I really need to put up. Girl, $5 at Dollar General. And you get this, this one, and this set. Like, they all come in um, different designs. And this was a different one, and this was a different one from a different pack. But, because I lost the other ones. Girl, I love me some $5 nails. I want to go get my nails done. So, I don't have to worry about it for a while. But, I just ain't done it. I will eventually, hopefully, maybe, if I ever make anything off of, hey, my Debbie, if I ever make anything off of YouTube again, maybe. Oh, didn't mean to move y'all. But this is my next pair. It's just some simple French nails. I know. Or right, too bad Mario ain't here so I can show off his phone. Off his phone. Y'all, it was a epic, epic collection. And just the thing that she just started out this past February is shows you how much she, she's divided. But not all of it's purchased. She has right she has um i've gave her friend mail she's won a couple of things she's got friend mail from others so it's not like she bought all of it y'all see sarah i named this biatch sarah is she still here Oh my goodness, Nancy already? What? Time has flew. Right? She she's she's up in everybody's face right now, Debbie. The people you don't want in your life is always there. <laughs> I saw her. See, this is what happens when you're over exhausted with two babies. And I fell asleep with makeup on. Like, I don't break out much. I have decent skin. Like, I have a lot of texture skin right up in here. Oh, thank you. Um, I have a lot of texture in my skin. Don't get me wrong. But for breakouts, I don't really. Hey, Amanda. Get many. 
and this is a result in do not sleep in your makeup. This is what happens when I fell asleep trying to get Luna to sleep. Hey, my Amanda. Y'all, make sure y'all shoot me a DM on whoever wants a shout out on my community page. I'm going to try to start getting back into that. I miss shouting everybody out. I got to get back into rhythm of things. Bestie, 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 my beautiful bestie. I've got to wash this brush. I got you. I know Amanda needs one. Amanda Beach is, uh, Beach is the reason why I thought about it. I was going to give her a shout out a while back. And I just slack it. No. What did you do? I gotta go see. Now I, now I want to see. I haven't really been on YouTube. I've been trying to comment. But. I've been slacking on that too. I took a little power nap before I had to go live. And then I woke up realized that I had to go live. And I was just like. Shit, because I was like, like, I just had a film. Mm -mm. Which I posted today. That, and that video I, I did last night, and I was really wanting to put it up a while back. Uh, I've been telling Mario, Mario had three days off this week. Thank goodness. He needed it. Thank you. But they were supposed to work last night. He got a message the day before saying he didn't have to work. Then after that, they freaking um, told him, yeah, to come in. So he went to go in a little later. As soon as he gets halfway there, they told him to go home, not to worry about it. Sounds about right. I knew that was going to happen though. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Oh, my God. You're so phenomenal. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to tear up. Yeah, something kept eating at me to make that video. Debbie, I was just like, which BB and Bobby noticed it. I talked to them daily on the phone and stuff. So, you know, they noticed it a couple weeks back, probably like two weeks back. And, you know, Mario has, of course, hey, Zach. Um, but it's just, it's real and raw and it's, not enough awareness about it and then when you think about postpartum depression the first thing comes to the mind oh if i'm not thinking about killing myself or i'm not thinking about hurting the baby then i don't have it and that's not true because they don't even have to go to that level of it there's so many different levels there's so many different emotions into it like it's crazy and I didn't have it as bad as I do right now with Luna. With Luna, it wasn't as bad. And so, like, it's been kind of like a little roller coaster for me. And I think I, a lot has to do with, you know, being overwhelmed with two babies. You know, twins are not hard compared to 18 months old and a newborn together. Because one moves and one doesn't. And with twins, you know, they're on the same level. <laughs> right and you know it's just something kept eating at my gut at my gut it was like jessica you need to make this video you know even if it ain't postpartum depression depression is real depression is raw and it's something that's not noticed a lot is shot upon you know you get judged and it ain't as bad as it used to be hey sherry nowhere near as bad as it used to be you know it's more 
acceptable nowadays? I know you do. And that's great because just because you're depressed doesn't mean you're a crazy cuckoo lady. It doesn't mean you have something mentally wrong with you. It just means that your hormonal levels are off and you've got to get balanced. Exactly. You know, you got to find that balance and it's it's tough. Especially when especially for my my queens and kings and stuff like that that go on social media and try try to make something out of it. Putting yourself in that spotlight is a little bit harder because you set yourself up for judgment. You set yourself up for you know, people be as shasty and shady as hell and judgmental without even knowing you or knowing what you got going on. Hey, Till! I like your name. Hey, my Melly. You know, so it kind of goes with the territory. You want to be out there. You want to get noticed. You want to build something out of your little channel. Then... You set yourself up for it. Hey, Sherry. Right? And that alone causes depression because I didn't even realize it until my therapist had told me that sunlight, the rays off the sun helps with depression a lot. And it helps with vitamin D and stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. It's pretty hard on me too, Sherry. Because this is my dad's favorite holiday coming up. Thanksgiving. And it, it just, it sucks. And I miss my daddy every day. Like, you don't go a day that I don't miss my dad. I don't miss my brother. And especially around the holidays, you know, it's it's tough. And then having a newborn, having my oldest kid out of the house. Hey, Christy. Which, he was always my ride or die. We were best friends. And so, it's just, it's, everything is, is weird, you know. And this has been one hellacious year. I'm so ready to get it over with. <coughs> I've got, hey, Allie. I've got birthdays coming up. My twins' birthday is December 12th. And then we got Christmas coming up, which is going to be a little harder this year because we're not wanting to really do much because we're still trying to move. And, you know, why set up decorations and stuff if we're planning on moving, but we still got to find a place. Hey, Simply Steph, welcome. If y'all do not have Simply Steph, please go grab her up. Um, Steph, everybody in here that's blue has a channel. Make sure you go check them out. They're great supporters, girl, like like no other. <laughs> I don't blame you. Hey, Lauren. Hey, my bestie, Amanda. I like it. Now, all you got to do is start putting up some videos. But, yeah, y'all please go check out Step. Simply Step. You won't be disappointed. She is freaking phenomenal. She has a lot of epic ass giveaways. She has a lot of ways to save money and get free products. She shows y'all, like, how she does certain things. Uh, she does a lot of unboxes. Like I said, she does a lot of giveaways. She's another one of our strong queens that's been going through a lot. So being there for each other helps a lot. Hey, Tony. Tony. Like, and that's, that's the main thing. Like, I want everybody to know that just because you're going through depression or postpartum depression or whatever kind of depression, know that you're not alone. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, my God, Jacqueline. Yeah, see, that's, I know, I got it from my BB. Mario likes it. He, he just realized it yesterday. Like, I wear it all the time. 
This one was gifted from Jasmine a couple years back, but this is from the Bling Bling Diva, of course. Y'all make sure y'all check out her paparazzi. So, you know, just, just know that nobody's alone. Hey, Sonny, get your butt to the hospital. You should be out here. You never go get checked. Oh, girl. Most definitely. Okay. Keep me updated. Um. But, yeah, I just, I wanted to wear this. It has been eating at me, y'all. I told Bobby about this. I told BB about this last week. I was like, I want to make a video. Oh, my God. I will most definitely go check it out. Oh, thank you, Allie. Step, Allie just joined your family. You're going to have some amazing supporters headed your way, girl. I love this freaking community. I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without them at all. Um, but, you know, it's just. It's something I knew that I was going to get some shade thrown at me or somebody's going to be behind me whispering to somebody else, oh, she's just looking for that sympathy card or, you know, she she ain't nothing wrong with her or blah, 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 blah. Hey, Bessie. And that's not the reason at all. I hate expressing my emotions. I hate... Talking about emotions, that's why I was, I wrote in my last video more than I said. How do y'all like my new intro that's a lot shorter? I had this amazing YouTuber, I can't think of her name. Bobby, what's her name? She was live yesterday. Or day before, it might have been day before. It was day before, and um, we were over there, and she reviewed my channel for me, and she said that I needed to cut down my intro, that it needed to be shorter. That girl that uh, reviewed our channel, Bobby. Yeah, please drop her link. Y'all go check her out. She's really she has a lot of good info. She gives suggestions on lighting, on um, microphones, on equipment and stuff like that. Like she's really good at the technology part of it. So y'all go check her out. Thank you, Bobby. Most definitely go check her out. And if you could catch her live. Just ask her, be like, hey, you know, if you get a chance, can you look over my channel? Tell me what you think of it. Because everybody's opinion is going to be different. But I like looking at it from somebody on the outside of the beauty squad. Because I know y'all are just so amazing and so supportive. It don't matter what I put up, you're still going to support me. But coming from somebody that doesn't know who I am... Is you know doesn't know my characteristic doesn't know what I stand for how do I draw in new subscribers of course and she was just giving me some advice so I'm gonna have to get some lights back here hey sis so I cut it down a little bit I chopped it up I made it myself guys I am so proud I used the intro maker which you can pay for it and get the little logo off. It's like $22.99 for a year. Or it's $2.99 a, a week. Yeah, a week. Hey, Gila. Yeah, like, YouTube has changed up so much. And me and I have so many of y'all here that are creators. I want to just go over a couple of things that me and Bobby have found out. Um, doing our research because y'all don't realize how much me and Bobby go in and watch other creators and watch bigger YouTubers and try to figure out and analyze how to better our channels, how to grow, how to help everybody else. Hi, Beth. Oh, 
Oh my God, baby, you're gonna love Steph. She she has a personality like us. Like she is all over the place like we are. You're gonna love her. I'm doing brushes on the floor now. But yeah, um, so they say hashtags in your inch and like in your just uh, title isn't as important anymore like they used to be. That they are more important in your description box and and you know add tags of course. Make sure you're saying in your video the same thing you're putting in your description box and the same thing as you're getting tagged. Because if you tag certain things that are do not is irrelevant to your channel or irrelevant to the video, you can get flagged and you can get in trouble after so many. Just word of advice because I know a lot of us will put like, oh, giveaways or something like that. Just make sure it's kind of relative. Your first three tags that you put in your description box is what's going to pop up the most. So be mindful of which three you put first. So say if you're angling towards unboxing, make sure you put unboxing. Make sure you put hashtag the company you're unboxing. Make sure you put hashtag, you know, small YouTubers support each other. Whatever you want to put, make sure your first three are the most important and what your what kind of crowd you're angling for. So you draw that people in. So if I was to go and I was to type in unboxings of boxy charm your video will pop up because them hashtags is what tells youtube what your video is about but we have youtube box now that analyzes our video so if they go in and you put hashtag boxy charm and your video has nothing to do about boxy charm you you get flagged like it'll get bumped down and after so many bump downs that your algorithm doesn't youtube won't push you out in the algorithm no more you'll get pushed back more yay i'm so glad i want to use this as my primer it is and stuff has changed from last year to this year girl it's a hot mess to try to keep up a channel and actually grow on here the way you want to. It's crazy. Um, Zach, look up. Okay, so for instance, if you're doing a McBang video, go into your search thing. Go off of your YouTube page. Go to a new YouTube page as a guest. Search in mukbangs. Look at the first couple of videos that pop up and what their titles are addressed about. And switch it. It's kind of like a competition. You want to get above those. You know what I'm saying? That's your goal. If you have... 10 people that have McBang's videos of the same product that you're trying to eat and show off. You want to spice up your title. You want to make your description. You want to do hashtags better than that video because you want to be bumped up above that one. So you get pushed out in the algorithm more. So with that being said, if you go and you search up McBang's for McDonald's. Go in and in your title, put McBang's, McDonald's double cheeseburger whatever you're eating and chit chat small youtube support hashtag small youtube support because right now we are still micro mini anything under like 10k is micro mini to youtube it does help make sure when you in your video though you do talk about supporting each other you do talk about following each other because you can get flagged out if you hashtag it and you don't have nothing to do about supporting each other I know I've 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 got to get my butt up early because I know you're an early bird. I still I still got your your lip scrub right there. I've got a couple other things I want to put together for you, but yeah, um, you know you can always message me on IG if you need help. Do your description box, Zach. Do your hashtags because they will help you. It don't help as much as they used to, but they still help. Hey, Jessanne. How are you, darling? Thank you for coming. Hold on, I gotta show you the baby. Jasmine, bring me the baby. 
I know most of y'all are going to stay here. I don't know Ann popped in, and I want to show Ann the baby how big she's getting now. Which one? Bring her here. No, my clung in my way. <laughs> I got your baby, Ann. Y'all, make sure y'all go check out Miss Ann. She has a new channel, and it's more personal. It's more about her. Look at this hair, guys. Little tomato. That's what I call her. She's getting so big. She's still in preemie clothes. Don't get me wrong. But she's getting chunky. Come on. Say hey. Tell everybody hey. Look. She loves her sissy. Tell everybody hey. 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 Meow. 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 See them cheeks, y'all. Look at the cheeks. Hey. But yeah, go check out Just hey. Ann. She has a new YouTube channel. It's hey. more about her, about her family, about everything that she has going on. It ain't just unboxings. What? You're going to have to wait a minute. I don't have no hands. Hop down. I'll get you some. Hold on. Right here. Here. Don't shut that door. You're welcome, Ann. No problem. I didn't know if anybody knew about your your second channel or not. That's not hers. That's the baby's. No. Go find hers. You want some more dang dang? Hold on. She's not jealous. She likes being included, and Like, she thinks... She knows it's her baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, she'll sit up here with me, and she'll help feed her. She'll grab her little butt, and she'll go... It's the cutest thing ever. Like, it is super cute. No, you're not getting no drink this late. Wow. Really? Oh, my goodness. We thought she was going to be a lot more jealous. But I think the way I've kind of handled it, and we have so many open hands around here. You know, I've got seven other kids. Well, six here. My oldest son just moved out. But Jasmine helps me a lot. The other ones, the little ones actually help me a lot whenever they can. Yeah, she's a good sissy. Hey, Jenny! I know, Amanda. I loved it. But yeah, she's she's a little darker than Luna was. Hopefully, she keeps her her color. Cause Luna was a little dark. She wasn't as red, but she was a little dark. But she turned white quick, quick, quick. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Carried Away. How are you? How are you not a moderator, Carried Away? You know what? Oh, thank you. She's my little chunky chunky for sure. I can't believe how big her cheeks have got so quick. She's already three weeks old, guys. Like, time is flying. Yeah, huh, mamas? Time is flying. She does not like to be messed with. This young can sleep through a hurricane, guys, because I keep it so so loud. And I, I don't tell the kids to be quiet around her because I want her to be able to sleep through it. And I'm a loud person anyways. Thank you. Aw, thank you. But, yeah, I want her to be used to everything. We're good. We're good. I've been dealing with a little bit of postpartum depression. And so that was the main reason I made a video that I made and I posted today. Um, I want the awareness to get out there. Oh, yeah. She sleeps like daddy for sure. It's nothing to be shy of. It's nothing to be embarrassed of. You know, it's it happens to a lot of people. Regular depression happens to a lot of people. And it's just something that we all need to be wary of. And we need to keep an eye out for each other. And we need to support each other. And now more than ever how this world is. And we're all stuck at home. And you're not able to go do certain things that you were before. Oh, thank you. It, it it takes a toll on you, you know. And love you, Ann. Thank you so much for stopping in. I hope everybody comes and joins your second family. 
over there. I can't wait to watch another video. Y'all, Anne is the sweetest. Uh, it's just so amazing. That's something. Thank you, Step. Uh, I, I can only dream of, like, and I see as myself because if I have 48,000 subscribers, I would still be as humble as she is. And it's amazing because you don't see a lot of people that humble anymore. And she's so, like, she's so big on YouTube. And she's such a busy woman to come in and, like, my micro mini live and say, hey, she is very supportive. She's checked on the baby quite a few times. Like, she is the sweetest. I think I was sleeping. I'm being loud, guys. All right, I'm gonna put her in her bed. I will grab her again if some some more people come in. Cause I know everybody wants to see her. She growing like a little tumbleweed. That's for sure. Uh-huh. put that in the trash. Trash. So I've got my primer on. 24 in the house and 13 likes. Thank y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like on the way in. Yes. Yeah. It's I. I'm not somebody that shares my emotions easy. Like, I don't, I, I feel vulnerable whenever I share certain emotions, and that's something I don't want to do. So, it was a little harder subject, because I just know that there's going to be criticism back from it. But at the end of the day, I don't care. I aim to help anybody I can. Bye, Amanda. You know, and if I can help one person out of that, then that's all I need. Sorry. You know, and that's, that's my whole angle. And being I sat down and I talked about it, it does help. It does, I think it helped me express myself. Oh, my God. I bet so. Yeah. Because that does it a lot, too. <laughs> depression is something real raw y'all like it's i was trying to explain it to it's still swollen i can lift it up a little bit it got it got a lot better right after i had the baby but then it was back swollen a little bit i did go to the doctor the 30th so hopefully i'll get it checked <laughs> thank you but um it's just I wanted to share it, and uh, Mario had asked me last night before last, like, what postpartum depression was, and how to really, oh, yeah, like, what it consists of, like, what did I mean by being depressed, was I upset in our relationship, or whatever, and I was like, no, I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been in my, in any relationship, like, this is the one, but, you know, depression doesn't have... You can have the best life ever and still be depressed or be, and still have postpartum depression. That don't have nothing to do with it. It's just, you know, your lows are really low. Your highs are high. Your mediums are medium. Like, it's just so much dramatic. Dramatic or however you want to say it, you know? But anyways, what I was saying about YouTube. For anybody out here that has a channel... Anybody that's trying to grow, like I am, thank you, Jacqueline. Yeah, yeah. I heard Kyla messaged me. And me and her talked for a good while. She was telling me how proud she was of me and stuff and why she'd been in my A and everything. And it's just terrible. I feel so bad for her. Um, 
But yeah, everybody make sure y'all say a prayer for Kyla and her friend Zach. They both tested positive for the COVID. She's been sick a little while. If y'all don't know how I'm talking about, I'm talking about Kyla's World of Beauty. But if you're a YouTuber and you're wanting to legit grow your channel, description box, Zach, it might be a headache, and I know it's a headache, but your description box is very important. This is where you share out your info. I've even got to do it because she was telling me, Kyla World of Beauty, she's got code C word. And her friend, Zach. I do too. But if you do it off of a computer, you could download a little app. It's called Notebook. Bobby showed me about this. And you can edit in a description box, pretty much, which you want as a rough draft to load to your video every time. I have it. If you go in and you customize your channel, you can have it loaded as a default every time now once you load up your video and you go in and you go to add your cards and your end screen and all that it don't show up right away but once you load it up for a few minutes afterwards it shows up yeah but the only bad thing about that jenny what i was told was i've got to go in and start dropping links for certain things that i'm talking about like with gerard cosmetics i put their link in there because they have an awesome sale going on <laughs> yeah and so that way your whole description your whole paragraph that you want to welcome everybody in there there you go you're able to and then you just add in your hashtags that you need to add in add in your links you need to add in it's notebook it's a little purple logo i'll show you it's on my computer and you know just go over you copy it and you paste it if you don't want to put it as a default you copy and paste it every time Ooh. i know carried away it's so easy to get distracted bobby is amazing bobby has great great quality in her videos, she has a camera, she has the setup, she has the makeup, she has the boxes for days. Like, she could literally do unboxings every time, but she wants to have a combination in her channel. It's just being able to sit down and film. So, I've been trying to stay on her ass about doing that. And it's hard when you have kids and you have everyday life. And if you're like me and Bobby, we have homeschooling. It's not the easiest job. Like, most people that's never been a homemaker... Don't know. Okay, so, Sonny, didn't you buy your intro? Because my intro that I had before, TL, was purchased. But just word of mind that the lady that reviewed my channel, she said nobody's interested really in intros anymore. Okay. That they're more... Like, if you want to put an intro, put one under, like, five seconds. Mine is eight seconds long, and then I made one for Bobby. So, um, just with an intro maker. All you got to do, yeah, Tanya, exactly. You can make your own if you don't want to spend the money because it is quite, quite expensive for something so short. For eight seconds, I mean, come on now. You want to pay $25, $30 for it? Because I, that's what I paid for mine. Yeah. And see, mine was like that. So I went down. I cut it down. El Grafica. That's who I bought mine from. And Tio, I can send you her link. She's the one that made my logo, my, um, my icon, the one I use for Instagram, the one I use for tiktok the one i use for youtube she made my banner she uh, made me a couple of icons hey bestie Ooh, yay. yeah and um i was going to go buy 
I was going to go buy one, but I just spent money on my first one, so I was like, let me just. What about you going to mess with the TV? Sis. I'm trying to watch my movie. Yeah, I've been having fun playing with Intro Maker because you can change it up when you want to, you know? You get add seasons in there like Jess Gus does. Yeah. Yeah, because once you pay, that's all. That's it. Just hit me up on Instagram and I can send you her link. And then um, also, if you want to check out Jess... Uh, Sunny, will you send me her leak? Yeah, St Stacy don't care too much for her. She says she's really buggy about, you know, like, support her, giving her shout-outs and stuff. She didn't bug me too much. I guess because I went ahead and did it. You know how I am. Ooh, send me her description. Um, send me her link, Debbie, please. That way I could... Uh, I'll make a video here this coming week. And... Um, I'll make a video this coming week about new intros and stuff like that. And I'll drop her link in there for you. Give her a shout out. Girl, mine has been at a standstill, and it, it goes down and then up, down and then up. And everybody keeps telling me it's the algorithm, like, not to stress, not to stress, not to stress. But we're talking about me here. I stress when it comes to my channel. Aw, you're welcome. Y'all know I am using my favorite, my favorite, my favorite. Bless you, mamas. I've got to wash my flawless brushes. They're getting yucky. Girl, your quality is up. I do plan on doing a vlog here in the next week or so about a night in the life of a newborn and 18 months old because I want to go over with y'all literally what I do at night by myself. Which brush? My, my, my favorite brush ever? I'm going to have to buy you one for like Christmas or something. Like seriously. I know you love that brush so much. I'm going to use this. I haven't used this yet. Bobby sent me this. Girl, don't stress it. Oh, thank you, Steph. But sis, you have a lot going on. A lot. That don't smell the greatest. I guess because I'm, I'm spoiled and I'm used to smelling coconuts. But you're not alone. I promise. I've had the same issue. Jess Gus has been trying to get me out of the funk. And she's like, girl, just, just keep doing what you're doing. If you want to change up a little bit, change up. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with, just know it's everybody. <laughs> Most definitely, let me know, Zach. Whenever you upload it, I will go watch it. You know how YouTube don't like giving me notifications. All you got to do is just play, hey, I got a video up and I got you. Good night, Nancy. I actually have a couple orders coming in. This is a little bit more liquidy. 
than a lot. So a little does go a long ways. Love you, kiss that grand baby for me. Yeah, Stacy is my freaking hero. She inspires me so much because little does a lot of people know all the shit that she goes through on a daily basis. And for her to sit there and still do content blows me away. Yay, it's uploaded. Did you release it? Felicity, you gonna try to show out now? Y'all literally saw that, like, that one little pump, that one little sprint covered my whole face. I love this freaking flawless brush. Because it does help. Like, not everybody realizes what Stacy goes through. It's not something that she talks about a lot. But I know. And to see her upload a new video, I'm just like, hell yeah, get it, sis. Because, I mean, it is a, it's a daily battle. Shit, we all have our demons. We all have our issues going on. Ain't none of us sitting here have... 24 hours free time and just you know can upload away realistically so you know we all do what we could do and try all right sir you need to go somewhere i know i've got to stay off of them i've got i got a couple of things coming this week just just know that not a lot nothing big unfortunately I wish, but can't do it. Yes, Debbie. Oh my gosh, yes. Yesterday, I literally sat down and made four, four Siri videos. I'm doing a full tutorial on how to so i broke them down into i will upload one of my full face like the primer the base the concealer and the cream contour yeah yeah editing is the death of me like i hate that i ever learned it i'm glad that i learned it and i'm happy i learned it and more that i learn more time it takes but I'm glad. Like, but it's like, damn. It was so much easier whenever you did edit. You just upload. But what I was saying is I have a four-part series coming. So be mindful. Y'all going to see the red shirt in a couple videos. Spread it out. I have a how-to foundation primer, the base, basically, the liquid, concealer, the contour. Then I go to the powders. I go to um, blush, contour, setting powder, setting spray. Then I do highlighter and brows. And then I do an eye look. So I got it broken down into smaller videos on this, you know. That way, if you're needing to look for how to do your base you could look for that you ain't gonna go through a 40 minute video for me doing a whole full face so that's why i broke it down like that for y'all so i do not expect all y'all to watch every single one of them it's more for anybody that's just wanting to you know see how i do certain things or get some tips and tricks I forget how much this goes. I'm using um, Cream Bule in 2.5 Soft Matte Complete Concealer from NARS. Uh, I love my NARS. Ooh, slow. Yes, ma'am, you got to. You got to do what you got to do. 
And I'm sorry, I'm not going to sit there and change shirts just because of a video. Like, I do good to be able to wear the same shirt for 20 minutes and I ain't got to spit up on it. <laughs> you know, so I'm not about to go through clothes. If people want to think that I ain't changed and not have enough common sense to know that, oh, it's because she pre-recorded this video together, then that's all them. Because most people know that you have the same clothes on because it was a pre-recorded video. See, my thing is, the only thing I hate is usually if I film quite a bit, it'll get lost up in my iCloud and then I can't pull it down. Like, I have right now, sitting in my freaking iCloud, a video of Tara's friend mail she sent me. I have a video of Bobby's friend mail that she sent me. And giveaway that I won from her. And I can't get it pulled down. And I don't want to upload them. Because I found that whenever I upload them. And then release them later. I don't get as many views as if I upload it and release it right then. Because YouTube kind of takes the date from the time you uploaded it. I don't know if I'm the only one that has that problem. But YouTube doesn't like me. Girl, Keila, don't feel bad. I haven't got, I haven't got, like, really no mail in, like, two months since the baby stuff. Um, but it's okay. I've got quite a bit to play with. Bethany, same. My best friend who lives behind me, she gets so mad at me. She's like, oh, so you're talking to your YouTube friends? Because I don't never call her. <laughs> and I'm like, they're not just my YouTube friends. They're my friends. I know, I got yours. I still got to get it out. Freaking YouTube not paying me, man. It's been the death of me. I've got so much to get out. That's why I haven't done another giveaway because I've got to get out this giveaway first. Exactly. See, these are the little ones compared to these. I was showing it at the beginning of my video. Look how big. And it was all like a book and something at Dollar General. And you get 80. And this one you get 82. So. Girl, yes. These are the woven exfoliating rounds. I use these to put toner on. I use these to get my eye makeup off. I use these for anything and everything to do with my face. Yes. And then this is oval pads that I just found at Dollar General. And they're so much bigger than the round ones. So you kind of get more for your dollar and you get 80 in here too so i've been using these amanda beauty how have you been darling y'all when is the last time we've seen amanda beauty she commented on my video the other day and i was just like what yes girl she didn't even realize i was pregnant that's how long she's been gone she's been out of radar hey mama How you been, darling? I've missed you. I hope all is doing well. All the family is good, Gravy. Exactly. I'm going in with the cream um, Fenty. Bobby sent me as well. Oh my god, I gotta show you the baby. Hold on one second. Let me get this stuff on my face. And then I'll go grab the baby. 
Oh no. Dollar General. I got it for like a buck. Maybe a buck fifty. I really like this brush. It's like the best to get your eye, your um, mascara and all that off. Because I usually go in and I'll just wipe my eyes and then rest my face. Oh my god, I've missed you. How have you been? How is your son? How are you kiddos? Oh, uh, I tell I will keep you in my prayers, girl. I know most of y'all might not know who Amanda Beauty is, but if you have been with me for a while, then y'all know who she is. She's one of my really good friends. When I first started off on YouTube, me and her did she did her first collaboration with me she used to go live all the time and she i got sick with the cn unfortunately and so i'm really glad to see her and know she's doing better Are you going to be posting anything on your channel, Amanda? Bye, Jennifer. Thank you for coming. Y'all hear them hiccups. Y'all hear them hiccups. Miss Felicity has the hiccups. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get her. Hold on. Girl, you need to as much as you love makeup. Yeah, she does. She has some monkey toes for sure. Right? Y'all used to hear the kids. Mama done got on their asses because they got school tomorrow. So they had to go to bed. They were running amok while I go and got on my nerves. <laughs> but here you go, Amanda. Say so, hey. Say so, hey. Got the hiccups, mamas. Hey, bestie. Oh my god, Renee. I love that freaking duet you did with her in TikTok. It was cute. Oh, mine try. Mine try. Let me just tell you. Jenny! <laughs> I love saying your name now. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Till. That is horrible. That is horrible to deal with. Well, just so you have friends and you have family here. We are all here to support you. And 
Best believe, if you start a channel and share your awareness, I mean, I know it's hard to talk about. It is a very tough situation, but it is really good. Um, Do you have the same number? You might have to call me because I had to get a different phone, but I got the same number. As awake. Yeah. What is it? She says awake a lot, guys. She's so alert. Look, Auntie Nene says she loves you. Auntie Nene says she loves you. Hey, Sue! Very alert, yeah. She'll stay up for about close to like an hour. There's this perfect little song going around. TikTok, I'm going to have to sing you next time I, I hear it, T.L., because that that's something you need to sing. I know. I wish we lived closer. You know you're a mom when you do your eyebrows one-handed. You need a film. I'm ready to see some more videos. Girl, I understand. You want to get off here and go film. Go do what you got to do while you have time and you feel like it. Because I know how that feels. I'll be ready to film and then I'll be sitting down. I'm just like, um, no. Not feeling there today. Asked away. Um... Email me. Because you don't have Instagram or anything, do you? Usually what I do, Step, and this is why I don't get to comment much, is because I will take my computer and go in and have it run all. Or if I'm... Specifically trying to run somebody's playlist. I'll throw it up on my computer and let it run Or while I sleep, I'll throw it up on my phone and let them run and then whenever the kids are in school Well, they don't go to school right now. They're homeschool, but while they're doing school, I'll take the TV in there and I'll let my my whole Notification thing run through It's hard it's really hard. It is time consuming. I do get fussed at sometimes. Because Mario says I live on the phone. And I was like, well, I mean, you got to support to get support. It's a, it's a give, win, give situation, you know. I'm not going to sit here and expect y'all to support me and give me watch time and watch my ads. And I'm not giving it back. I hate that I don't get to watch all of it like I want to. And then there's some that I really save and I want to see and I want to watch. I'll go in and I'll watch them. And then I'll let some just play through my phone while I'm not doing nothing. I usually always have somebody running in the background while I'm filming. Especially if somebody's live. You have to have multiple devices. I used to be able to run more people because I had my tablet too, but. I kind of shattered my tablet, the screen of it. So now I have to go get that fixed. Which they were trying to tell me like $600. Oh, girl. You have to feel me in on the dirt. Are you going to pick my nose, Felicity? Huh? Are you going to pick Robbie's nose? Yes. Jenny. 
Good point. Yes. Go back and try to comment when you can. It does help. It shows that you're, you know, you're legit there because, I mean, you can always say you're just playing people. Or you like, oh, yeah, I ran you. Kind of the show tell, and it does help the creator itself if you comment, if you interact with them. You know, give them some feedback on their channel. So, every once in a while, I'll try to go in and watch a video and make sure I comment. I know, right? I mean, she looks just like Luna Bear. She is just, she's such a good baby. Like, I could, I could ask for better, y'all. Back on wood. I'm going in with the Smashbox setting powder. <coughs> Once I put her down. <laughs> right? I know. She's got a head full, Sue. She's such a good baby, though. Oh, thank you, Amanda. Oh, my gosh. She's so hard to put her down. Because especially like when she's like this, I just love snuggling with her and cuddling with her. And she's just so content. She loves just looking around and she'll stare at us. Oh, thank you. Freaking fly. Oh. Oh, Jenny. I love you too. You're so amazing. Girl, that's what we're here for. We're here for the support and the love for each other. You're I love your content, like. Oh my god, Renee. I need them so bad. Especially being all my shit got stolen before, so we have like no family pictures. My poor baby. Ooh, who's wrestling? I haven't watched WWE since my daddy. And you're good, baby. Oh, that's going to be beautiful to watch. Yes, yeah, Step. I'm, I'm telling you right now, you just made some amazing friends. I promise. All these content creators, all my friends up in this house are awesome. Awesome. What is it, huh? You better get used to that camera. You gonna be a little vlogger before you can talk, huh? Kind of like Luna. Luna loves the camera, y'all. If y'all have not seen, y'all need to check out my Instagram or my TikTok where she's just like, I did the um, clone one and it has like three of her. So it's her and then her in the back and she's just, 
dancing to the music. It's so freaking hilarious. We like the cars. The cars that go through. Oh, most definitely. It it will help somebody. Somebody out there. I promise you. It will make somebody's... If you have a calling... And you feel like that's something that you need to do. There's a meaning for that. There's a reason for that. Your, your mind and your body is telling you that somebody needs to hear that today. You know? And that's how I took whatever I did in my video about depression was because I felt like somebody needed it. You know what I mean? Oh, you're good. Oh my God, Tia, we gotta do TikTok. I gotta, I gotta show you some TikToks. I realized how to do the ghost one because they're like, I'm dead. And then like that. I realized how to how to work that one. We need a duet on that. Y'all would love it. The only bad thing I gotta say is freaking TikTok is freaking addictive. And I tried my hardest not to download TikTok. I was never ever 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 gonna download TikTok. But it's BB's fault. Baby taught me into it because she was like, girl, you need to download it. It will help you grow. It hasn't helped me yet, but I'm still getting there. So this is the powder. This is why I love this powder. All you got to do is wind it up and your powder comes down. And I'm using my Huda. Do a brush. It shows you on there, and you could type in there, like, if you don't know how to really do them, and you really want to do them, all you got to do is, like, type in TikTok, like, how to do a TikTok, and they'll show you how to do easy ones. I don't kind of follow the rules. I've never done, like, a TikTok dance. I do more makeup-related things. Like, I do my face without makeup on, and then I'll... I'll pop back in with makeup on, and then I've had Felicity and Luna Bear on there a lot. And then I'll come across, like, cute little memes. I just one that was saying, you're awesome, but, yeah, you're beautiful, you're awesome, you're amazing. And I just, I had to, like, it was calling my name. And I, I love positivity. And there's a lot of that over there. Like, if you go and you hashtag, you know, mom support moms, you'll find a lot of friends. I'm already up to 210 followers over there within, like, two weeks. I ain't had it long. I wish my YouTube channel would grow as fast as that does, but, you know... It is what it is. And yeah, all you can do is just have fun with it. Enjoy it. That's all it's meant to be is have fun, share a laugh here and there. I'm using the Sun Puppy bronzer from Too Faced. Good night, Steph. I will head over there shortly and run some more of your videos. Will you? Oh, I'm going to have to go live over there. I might go live tomorrow over there. Thank you. Most definitely, Steph. Don't forget. I know, Bobby. I'm addicted to it. This is like the only bronzer I've been using since I've opened it. It don't help, too, that it's, like, conveniently right here. And so I just grab it. 
Oh, you need 1K to go live on TikTok? Well, I've got a lot of freaking growing to do. What? Oh, I'll, I'll get there because I've been determined to post every day over there, even if it's just something... Something small. Because whatever, I started posting a lot on my IG. I went from 100 and, uh, 1,100 to 1,330. <laughs> oh my God, I got a freaking message about that. Like, not even funny, Sonny. <laughs> this lady messaged me. You will. You will. I promise you. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Do some lives. Lives help. Join people's lives. That helps a lot. You, know, you get to meet new people all the time. Most of my new... My, my first subscribers came from other friends' lives. And I would just, you know, join their lives and welcome everybody in genuinely you know, go and subscribe to their channel because I knew they were watching the same person person I'm watching. So I knew we had the similar likes. So I would go subscribe to their channel, watch the video full. If I was in the middle of a live, I would go save it. For later, that way I can go back and watch it. I wasn't taking, you know, from that person's live itself. But I would most definitely go subscribe and then go watch afterwards. Oh, I'll take that. Uh, Mama Vapes has a TikTok too, Zach. No, I've had that happen quite a few times. Um, Z Beautiful has a TikTok. I don't think who else has TikTok that I've seen on there active. You just said you're following Sheila. Renee, we need to get Busy Beauty on TikTok. We need to get Stephanie on TikTok because I think it will help her with her store. Y'all seen that? I hope y'all didn't see that. <laughs> About Phil. Hey, Keila. Am I following you? Yeah, I'm following you. I want to try one of these blushes. And I'm going to try their lipstick. Okie dokie. Look how that bronzer is popping up right there. I should have used this bronzer. I didn't. Oh, that's awesome. Well, um, Jenny, if you ever want to do a collab, I can't guarantee you that you'll grow too. But I'm down. I can help you and I can send you, you know, a little short clip of whatever you want to do. Um, like I said, I do have a couple of items coming in this week. I have some Urban Decay. I have Jeffree Star hoodie coming. That's the only thing I got. That and the eyeliner. I wasn't able to get the palette yet. I just couldn't afford it. And I really need a hoodie, so I got the hoodie instead. Um, but I do have some Urban Decay coming. I have Charlotte Tilbury coming. And I also have some Gino coming. Yeah, let me know. I want to try these two are blushes. So I'm just going to try a little bit. 
She got her micro bladed. Yeah, the orgy palette is beautiful, Star. Hey, Star. How are you, gorgeous? Thank you so much for all those nice words you put in the, um, my last video. I pinned your comments so newcomers would see it and hope it helped. Now, I just went in with both of them. I've been good. I want some color pop, but I'm already broke. It's awesome. It's awesome. Permanent brows? Ooh. This is very pigmented, but not like too pigmented. It's the way I like my blush. You still got plenty of room to play with it, you know? Like it's it's got the color there, but it's not like phew. Yes it is. It's the night glaze one. I I got the face and eyeshadow. I mean, yeah, the eye brushes. I freaking love them. I grab them more than any other. That and my MQS. I really, really like this blush. <laughs> yes. I, I was thinking the same thing. Like, And I combined these two. This is like the perfect little combo. I barely dipped into them. I went very light-handed. All right, good night. But it is gorgeous. Okay. And then once I grab it, I'll delete it. Girl, I had her on Halloween. I had the baby on Halloween. Can you believe that? I was I was supposed to be induced the day before. Halloween. I went in Friday instead of Saturday. But I was supposed to go in Friday morning. So I thought the whole time I was having like a hollow eve baby. Because my labors are usually really quick and fast and easy. Not that baby. I didn't get to the hospital until um, 10.30 Friday night. They didn't have a bed available. This is the sleigh all day. Dreamsicle. Um, until like 10.30. I got there. I was four centimeters that's what's so good reminds me so much of my dad oh my god like i'm going to love this two pieces i only get boxy charm so i couldn't cancel nothing <laughs> i mean i could cancel boxy charm but then i wouldn't get nothing i might have to end up doing that if i don't start making no money off my channel though which sucks um, but yeah, I had her, I went in, they broke my water around 1230, because I got there at 2, 1030, um, uh, started having a little bit of contractions, wasn't really dilating much, so they went ahead and gave me some potassium, and I had her at 842 that morning, Saturday morning, so it wasn't too bad, it wasn't too quick either, but it wasn't too bad. Right, so let's see what highlight we're doing. The kind of does I've been using Ofra. I want to use something different now. Hmm. 
That's my fate, my shutter palette. That I can actually put up. I was looking for this. Look, Jenny. You talk about the kids, and I hear the kids now. <laughs> I'm going to beat my youngin' because she got stuff all over it. And this is my dad on Drunk Elephant. And she got it on one of my favorite palettes. My Becca palette. So, my Becca palette is really clean now. Sorry, y'all, I'm coming. I just know if I don't go ahead and get this cleaned up, it will be everywhere. I can't believe she messed up. She spilled some of my drunk elephant. That crap is not cheap. And I sure couldn't afford it. I heard that Boxy Charm is going to have some glim edits coming in there. Girl, star, yes. Let me show y'all. I've got some. I got two pair. I bought two pair. I bought the glue, the eyeliner glue. And then I bought some singles that these are supposed to kind of like, they're supposed to be in the base star. Um, some singles. So they're supposed to like kind of snap together and help hold them up. If you need help holding them up. I didn't know what they were for. They're called anchors. I just got them because I thought that I would need them. Yeah, they're going, they're going to be featured in December's box. Which is pretty epic. Which I miss pop up. No, I didn't. I miss Choice Day for base box. I'm going to use this. What? $30? Yeah, I've got pop-up coming too. I didn't go too hell. I got me a new coffee cup. I got me some toner spray that I needed that I didn't get in my box that I wanted. Uh, I got the Too Faced palette. The natural palette. Yeah, I didn't see them in Lux Choice items because I did do my Lux. I just picked the teeth whitener because your girl needs some. She needs her teeth whitened. And uh, I picked the colorful Viseart palette. Pretty much all I could do. I'm really feeling this blush, y'all. Y'all need to check out Gerard Cosmetics. If you have not, they have an epic sale going on. Everything is 50% off. The brick house, the busted house right here, is originally $59. It's on sale for $29 right now. Um, this palette is like... Hold on. I got it right down. $29. 06 and it's down for $14 right now 
and these blushes are well worth that. The bullet is originally $19 and it's on sale for nine. Go figure right after I just I just sprayed. I mean I just bought that like last week. And then the sale goes on. Like Jessica really? I do want to go get the base. The um base for your eye and a lip liner and a lip gloss. That's like the only thing I'm missing right now. Yeah. I hate smoke stains. Y'all hold on one second. Oh, she finally went to sleep. Hold on, let me show y'all. Yeah, that and coffee. I've got to do my eyes, but I want y'all to pick my palette. I have quite a few palettes. We got peachy clean. Why do I hear y'all running around? I don't want no excuses. Why do I hear y'all running around? Ain't y'all supposed to be going to bed? Y'all got school tomorrow. But hold on, I'll show y'all a couple. I've got the Nikki palette. To you, if you want me to play with that, I can play with some more colors. So I know you just got it. It won't that many choices. It won't that many good choices. Let me rephrase that, Jenna. But um, they had a teeth whitener or a pair of earrings. And I'm sorry, I get all my jewelry from BB. Um, they got the Viseart palette. You either got all matte neutrals or it's kind of like a colorful one. Of course, y'all know your girl likes color, so I got the color for one. I wasn't too excited about either of the palettes, though. I mean, yeah, the are Vizzy Arts. I want... The only thing I want from ColourPop are the freaking face stamps. I want a moon, a star, and... Um, the heart. I want them freaking stamps, and they were in stock, but I'm broke right now, so I can't get them. And I'm so freaking mad. But as soon as I can, best believe your girl is getting those three stamps. That's all I want. The only thing I want from ColourPop. That and the Raw Christie order, but the Raw Christie sold out, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I want the Baby Yoda palette, but it's sold out. But I want them three freaking stamps. They're like $8 originally, which ain't bad. But to, to know they're going on sale, they're going to be like 4 bucks. That's, oh my God, I'm kicking my ass that I did not save some money for right now. For, you know, Black Friday. Hey, Crystalline. But we, we've had a lot of come up. You know, baby stuff. All that and trying to get another house sucks. So I really like couldn't be at a worse time. Couldn't be at a worse time. But I'm determined to get them. I've got the Hocus Pocus palette, Jenny. I haven't played it in yet. You want me to play with it? Yeah, I want the Raw Christie Beauty palette. Oh my God! Yes, they do, Kimberly. <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't have school tomorrow. Why didn't y'all tell me? No, it's Thanksgiving week. <laughs> I know she's going to be out on maternity leave, and I hope she does awesome. I can't wait to see the wait, baby. What? I didn't know that. Ooh, I am so entering in, baby. 
I mean, bestie, baby. Sheila, you ever gonna talk about me? What, Sonny? That's phenomenal. I haven't seen Manny's holiday collection. I probably don't want to. No. Okay, yeah, Jenny, I'll play with the Hocus Pocus just for you. Baby got it for me as a additional pushing present. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I want it. Don't ask me what Jasmine's listening to. She's watching a movie. She says she loves the music in it. <laughs> right, Stacy. Okay, at least I'm not the only one. Y'all have school tomorrow? Do y'all have school tomorrow? Okay. Okay, so y'all have school Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably. Good night, Sue. Can't wait to see. Yeah, but Thanksgiving. Why is the bread open? Who left the bread open? Girl, all my kids are homeschooled, and I still don't know this stuff. School called earlier, and I didn't catch it, so that's why I don't know. I've got the email. I've got to check it. I'm so confused. If you don't go to bed, you're not going to make it to your birthday. Monday and Tuesday, y'all off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Okay, Monday and Tuesday. My kids. What, Kimberly? That's crazy. Yeah, my kids got to go Monday and Tuesday. Thank you for reminding me, though, because I would have made them, like, go every day this week. I have to check my emails whenever I get off my live. After I do my eye look, I'm going to stay. The Hocus Pocus palette that I've been dying to play in. And Jenny wants me to play in it. Yeah, I was really lucky to catch the Hocus Pocus palette. Baby got up super early and got on to Ulta and ordered one for me and got one for Bobby. And it was just so amazing. I was so, so blown away she got it for us. I was so lucky to get it. Yeah. It, it, it was a, it was a hard one to get a hold of. I haven't. I had all those pallets packed away for the hospital because I was like, I'm gonna be there five days. I've got to push out some videos, and yeah, I did. That's kind of when the postpartum depression kind of hit, and I got really down about my channel, and got you know. Just from not seeing it grow and not getting paid. The Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. That's why it took me forever to use the um, Chaotic Cosmetics. I had ordered those before I had... The baby, I, it was the Halloween collection, and I didn't get a chance to play with it until afterwards. All right, let's go play with some. Let's go play with some eyeshadows. Um, which one is that? The BH Cosmetics palette. You have to text me. But, yeah, if it's the one I'm thinking about, yeah. I'll throw it in there with your other stuff. J 
just for having to wait for all my it be your weight in prison. Oh my God, tripod, stay still. Sorry, y'all. My tripod trying to be retarded. We were thanking you for getting us the Hocus Pocus palette, Diva. Oh, the one I was never going to give up. Hmm. I'll have to see then. But here she is in all her glory. I did get two of the glitters as well. She got me two of the glitters. Well, the glitters. Because there was only two in the collection. This is... The purple one. Hey, Donita! And then here is... I ain't even gonna attempt to say their names. Yay, sis is back. This one right here. So we might try to put these on afterwards. This is the palette. And I got some lashes. Bibi hooked me up, that's for sure. The names are on the back. This is it in all its glory. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful palette. Hey, Joanne. How are you? Let me make sure my, my concealer is not creasing. Oh my god, baby. I can't wait. Y'all, she showed me the box that she has. Thank God. She don't have to ship it. Because I would feel horrible for her having to ship it. Not to count the bag of stuff she got to. For me and the girls and the boys. All right, I'm going to use a Hank and Henry brush. I've got to stay clear. We, 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 I honestly can't. I'm like, broke, broke. Um, maybe Friday. I'm going to use this shade right here as my transition shade. It's called Hello Salem. Ooh, I like that. They have... The names on it, the palette, and on the back. What? Heck yeah. My favorite brushes are my bling brushes that are expensive. I really, really like the couple of Sigma brushes that I got from Pop Up. I only have like four of them, but they're really awesome. I'm loving. The Morphe brushes from the Nikki Dragons collection. Phenomenal. And if you really want a good, affordable brush, and I say this all the freaking time because I stand by these brushes. If I can find one. Right here. MSQs. These are amazing. You can get a whole set of them. I think it's like 12 for like $8 on Amazon. Amazing deal. A little bit of kick up. Not much. But the couple of Hank and Henry brushes I've got from the brush description. I like them. They're really soft. Easy to use. Let me show y'all why I love these brushes right here. Oh. Night, Stacy. Love you. Okay. 
Jenny, if you want a really good... Oh, okay. Kila, you're making me feel crazy. They're pricey, but they do have afterpay. The bling brushes are amazing. Oh. Oh. Hmm. You get 13 of them. And Paige Korean just come out with a launch, and they're pink, and they're beautiful. All right, I'm going to go in with Dead Man Toes because y'all know I like my color. Oh, no. These MSQs. Ask Renee. She's got a set of them, too. Me and her got our set around the same time, and they're freaking phenomenal. They're really soft. They're really sturdy. I'm trying to find one in my whole freaking blood brush collection. But yeah, it really depends on like what kind of brush you're looking for. I mean, what kind of price tag you're looking for. See, this is an MSQ. And look. How soft. Yeah, I love my bling brushes. Yes, Kimberly, me too. <laughs> Sis, you need to try out that subscription. I'm telling you, the Hank and Henry subscription is a great deal for what you pay. And it comes out on the 15th. The bling brushes, go to blingbrushes.com. They have their own website. And when you go in there, You'll, um, you'll see what they have. They have a pink set. This page collection is like $170, but you get three sponges and 13 brushes. Or you could just get the brush set for like $140. And if you break that down, it's, it's not that bad. It's like $10 a brush. But they do have afterpay. Yeah, use the word glitter right now, and you get 20% off. Thank you, Bobby. I'm going to use the MSQs just to show you. Last I saw, the Hank and Henry subscription brushes was available. I know they were sold out for the longest. And the only reason I even signed up is because they get taken out on the 15th instead of the 1st. But yeah, you can do afterpay. But make sure you use the word glitter and you get 20% off. Yeah, like if glitter doesn't work, you can try Allie. Allie has a code. Allie Dawson. You can never have enough brushes, exactly. Because there's so many different ones. And then if you're like me, I need a fluffier brush. A bigger brush. Let me rephrase that. Um, I hate washing my brushes. So to have quite a few of them helps. Oh, such a pretty color. I love ColourPop. I've never ordered from ColourPop, but I love ColourPop. Yeah, one of these, the Switch. Ooh, yeah, try glitter first because you get 20% off. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Allie Dawson, well, Allie only gets 10. And I want you to save as much money as possible. Yeah, 
Yeah. I love my little switch. I need to get another one. All right, yeah, please let me know. Ah, oh, Elnaz got a code. Heck yeah, I hear you, Elnaz. I have no dirty brushes right now. If y'all want a good cleaner for your brushes, and it takes care of your brushes as well, this is it, y'all. It is a pricey little biatch. Pricey. Bobby got me that when I was pregnant. But she's worth it. And I've washed so many brushes with that. I even gave some to, uh... I gave some to BB when she came over last time to try it out before she bought it. Oh, yeah. I forgot you got me one. Yay! You got me so much shit, baby. I forget what all you got me. What? That's cool. I need to go in and do my review for my... I think I did. For my bling brushes, my starlet brushes, because I love the color black. That's why I got the black ones first. I hope to get the whole collection soon. I'll be so satisfied then. Alright, so I got that. I want to soften up my edges just a little bit. So, I'm going to go in with a Jeffree Star times Morphe brush. Like, I really like the Morphe brushes. They're pretty soft. The only ones that are rough are like this right here. This one's rough, but I think... Yeah, Bling brushes. Um, Bobby, can you drop the link to Bling brushes so she don't have to go search for it? Or somebody that's blue, please. They are a little more rougher. Alright, so let me go in with this shed right here. Thank you, Kendra. I didn't even see you come in, girl. Hey! This is Hello Shayla. I'm just going to uh, blend out my edges. Thank you, Kendra. You're so sweet. How have you been? I haven't seen you on TikTok lately. Thank you. I love how if you go in with a very light shade and buff out the edges, it gives it the airbrush effect. I need to cut my crease. Yeah. I'm going to go in with this green. This green is calling me. It's calling my name, guys. And Jessica. Ooh, I can't wait. How can you blend too much? Yeah. I swear by it. I mean, in, in reality, it's all in preference, if you want to be honest about it. 
I didn't know you told anybody they have to play like you do. You be getting some crazy comments for a day. I would have been like, okay, thank you for the suggestion. But, no thank you. Your look was muddy. You bled too much and your look was muddy. Alrighty then. See, I hate negative people. I learned when I was a child, mind you, when I was a child, I learned if I didn't have nothing nice to say, I just didn't say nothing at all, you know, and that's what most people learn as kids. Which video was that? I can pretty much remember all your looks. Oh, thank you. You don't look muddy. I like it. I'm just using an angle brush. I'm going to go ahead with the shade right here. I've got to see what it looks like on my lid. I've been trying to venture out a little more than just really light shades on my lid. Because I've come to realize that I like them. Ooh. And then I have a really good idea. Hey, Char, how are you? And mind you, I didn't wet my brush or anything. Yeah, Renee, but I get really defensive with you, and I'll probably be like, bitch, what you say about my best friend? <laughs> oh, most definitely, I will have to go back and make a smart comment. I hate when people just be negative. <laughs> like, hold up. What'd you just say? What did you just say? I love you too. Okay, so I want to take this shade right here. No, I'm not going to make a comment to that person in general. I'm just going to be like, Gorgeous, gorgeous look. I like taking a little bit of that shimmer when I'm doing a darker look in the lid and popping it right there at the beginning to kind of ombre it out. That's just crazy, man. I swear. People are so negative. Oh, thank you. I've improved a lot, girl, over the year. That's for sure, because uh, my skills... To when I first started to now, oh wow, like, I kind of think like, just what the hell were you doing? Just what were you thinking? I 
I want to use Bewitch, that green right there, and put it under my lid. Amanda, when's the last time you posted a video? I mean, it might not look bad, but the techniques have improved. Let me rephrase that. Ooh, y'all see that? Char is completely understandable. Y'all, make sure y'all go check out Amanda Beauty. Hopefully, she'll get back into the swing of things. She has some videos up. She used to do a lot of lives. But that way, you're already subscribed to her. She does support back. So, if you go over and show her some love, she'll show you some love back. Oh, shit. I want to try this full mood because it's just, it's calling my name. I know, babe. But I know how it is trying to get back into the swing of things. And you would do the same for me. Without hesitation. This is... The Makeup Institute brush from Hank and Henry's subscription. Oh yeah, I got a good idea. I don't know, I always use my pants to wipe off makeup. What I have, I switch right here. No, I will switch. All right, so I want to try some of this glitter. Let me have my glitter brush. Amanda, do you see all my makeup I got now? Like, do you see all this? This whole thing right here is a drawer that's full of palettes. All these are palettes that I have to play with. I haven't got a chance to get around to. Um, hold on. All that. Look at my brushes. These are like my favorite brushes right here. I'll put down here. And then up here are my other brushes. Yeah. I've, I've, I've got the makeup. Right? See, all the reason I say that, y'all, if y'all haven't been with me for a while, mind y'all, when I started my channel a year ago, I literally had two eyeshadow palettes, one face palette, maybe two foundations. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to put it right here in the middle. It, I didn't have no makeup. None. Whatsoever. Compared to what I have now. Um, see what happened was, bestie, uh, Mario attacked my neck. He turned into a vampire last night. I 
I know it's crazy. I can't. I, it's still like I get frustrated because I haven't moved in a little bit. But in the, the day, like I'm so grateful that at least I'm over one k. You know, and I'm monetized, even though it don't make a crap because I ain't made nothing too much. But at least I have that availability. Did I help the look or hurt the look? Y'all be judge. I like this. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. YouTube has some crazy funky words. Yay, Teal. I just used the Hocus Pocus palette, Teal. This palette right here. Oh, I would have been upset, Char. Oh, my, no. Thank you, sis, for sharing her link out. Thank you. And then I used the glitter. I'm going to use that lipstick, the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick. Wow, Jessica. This is in the shade Buttercup. Beautiful, beautiful, nudie. Yes. Go check out Gerard Cosmetics. Like, I could not have done a unboxing at a better time for y'all. You know what I mean? Like, maybe not for me because I missed the freaking sales. I had to be so freaking fast to the ass to get some. But it's okay because it worked out for y'all. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what matters to me the most. Yes, discount heaven right now. Like 50% off discount. Because mine, y'all, when I went in, didn't have no freaking discount. I was just like, okay. Yeah, everybody's trying to get, get those sales in for sure. On the week that I am the brokest. But it's okay, because this week I have a couple boxes coming. Not many, but... If I could just get paid from YouTube again, 
Then I could order some more. But nah. YouTube wants to be a freer and take my money. Because I swear y'all, I've never seen anything like what happened to me last month. Like, I watched my count go from 78 to 24 within like two weeks. How do you lose money you've already earned? I don't get it. Like, I am dumbfounded with that still today. Aw, I love you, Kendra. I love all of y'all. Just know anything y'all say to me in privacy it stays. Y'all can ask Stacy. Y'all can ask Amanda. Y'all can ask Bobby. Y'all can ask BB. Me and Amanda Beauty. We go back a whole year, y'all. A whole whopping year. Her and Stacy and Renee, even Bobby, they were one of my first, first subscriber friends. <laughs> yes. I've got that, Donita. Look, the busted the house. Busted the house. What did I do with my spray? And the dream sickle. I literally was so close to crying yesterday when I did the unboxing. I was like this close to crying. And if you pay attention to the video, you kind of tell that I was wanting to cry. But because Dream Sickle was, yeah, was my daddy's favorite ice cream ever. And it brought back so, it like, it, it literally hit me so hard when I smelled it. It was just like, boom, in my face. Hey, Becca. I love you, Amanda. Girl, but Keela, they're not that expensive. And they're worth it. And what I really like about this is they're like reusable spray bottles. So once you have used it all up, do what you had to do. If you like the spritz, you could put another setting spray in there. You could put stuff for your hair in there. You can use it, whatever. Travel sprayer. I like whatever reusable like that. Okay. Before I started chit-chatting, I went in with the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the shade Dove. It's like a gray. <laughs> Becca, look who it is. It's long lost Amanda Beauty. She didn't even realize I was pregnant. Oh, yeah, Amanda Beauty, guess what? Becca is about to be a grandma. She's about to have her first grandbaby. Her son and his wife are having a baby. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a boy, right, Becca? Yes. The ice cream is so yummy. So yummy. Like, I could literally, like, lick that box. It smells so good. Now, FYI, the sprayer, the mister on this. Y'all. Like, it's strong. So, you have to hold it back, for sure. If you're not used to a strong mister. Because what I'm usually used to is kind of like... The Morphe. I love the Morphe spray. My Marc Jacobs. This is my favorite. And see, it's a fine mist. So, I'm not used to like in your face. Oh, Becca, I got to show you Felicity. Hold on.
Miss Felicity. She is sleeping good, guys. Like, she's like, don't mess with me, mama. Look how big she's getting. So quick. She's still in preemies. Hey, beauty by Tammy. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hey everyone. Look at this hair. I think she got more hair than I do. <clears throat> right, Donita? Hey, my love. It's always nice when somebody else has the kid because you can give them back. <laughs> Whoo, girl. Yeah, Felicity was 5 pounds, 14 ounces. She was a little bitty baby. The vampire has arrived. <laughs> I can't show the toes. They're covered up. I know. They grow so fast, Tammy. Like, mm. Yeah, Re Renee asked me what happened right here, babe. And I was like, um, see what happened was Mario turned into a vampire. <laughs> right. They're so cute and so tiny and they smell so good. And it's just like, oh. Like, I could literally sit here and hold her all day long. All day long. Look. Yes, you did, Char. You got a little, the little head is. <gasps> Yay! Which ones did you get? Did you get the um, Times page or did you get the Starlet? Black ones. The pink set. Yay! You got the page. Make sure whenever you do the video. Hashtag Paige Korea, the girl that did the collab with her. She's a smaller, I know. She's a she's not like a huge huge YouTuber, but she's big. And it, hashtag her so she can see that you do an unboxing with those. I know, right? Me too, Becca. I'm just too broke right now. I'll get them later on, hopefully. Hopefully they'll be in stock. But see how alert she is. I know. I can't wait till let me get my butt up and actually it's her phone. TL like BB, should we would actually be able to meet her in person. TL's only like thirty six minutes from me. Yay. So she'll have to get the baby fixed for all of y'all. And then BB's got to get her butt over here, too. Ooh. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes, she does. I need to start putting right there. Little headband, little bows. She has a crap load of hair. I know, Kendra. I wish. I wish it was just so easy that we could all, like, get together. And I really, really, really want to. And hopefully by the time all this mess is over with and I grow a lot more, I want to do, um, me and Mars and talked about it whenever I started my channel, I want to do meet and greets and be able to go meet everybody. Yeah, she's doing great for a preemie. Oh my god, I don't need it. Yes, I will be cutting up with all of y'all. Like, y'all don't even know. Mario is freaking hilarious. Like, 
hilarious. He likes to aggravate the shit out of me, but he is hilarious. Y'all would love him. Yeah. Pretty easy. Yes, he did. Oh, I'm so sorry, Teal. Yeah, that's so sad. I hope her eyes stay blue. But these start to look a little darker. Yeah, she was still full term. She's just small. I had her at 38 weeks. So technically, she's not a preview. She just fits the preview clothes. Um, Jasmine, Luna, I had it right at 36 weeks. So she is technically term. Nowadays, they wouldn't consider that term, but she was term when I had her. The twins, I had at 35 weeks, which they consider twins term at 35 weeks. Um, Isaiah, I had at 36 weeks. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, she had her early. Ooh, I hope everything goes okay with her. Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. That's an object to play with. I had stage three placenta with Jasmine. And so I had it, I ended up having her at 35 weeks because it was safer for her to be on the outside than the inside because she was losing weight. Oh, um, that would be awesome. Oh, that's cool. She wasn't due until November 12th. That was her originally due date. Hey, Melissa. Say, hey, Melissa. How have you been, girl? I know. Really, Grunt Grunt? Oh. I hope so, Becca. That's cool. Yeah, usually Grandma's intuition. Woo wee, yeah, you have big babies. My biggest was eight pounds, what else was my girl? I know. She is three weeks in a day today. Yeah, right. Yeah, she wasn't planned, but she's our blessing, that's for sure. Woo wee, yeah. She was only I want to say 17 and a half inches long. Memo! That's what my kids call my mama. My mama hates grandma. My mama hates the word grandma. What is it, mamas? Huh? What is it? Mommy not leaving you alone? Wee. Holy crap. Oh, I bet so. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how I will take it. Which I know I have a lot of time to worry about that. Especially now with her and Luna Bear. Luna Bear is only 18 months. 19 months now. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Woo -hoo. Because I literally went crazy. Well, not crazy, crazy, but it's been bittersweet for my oldest son to leave the house. Let's just say that. I know. Here you go. Anybody want to hold her? Too bad you can't, like, put through the phone. Here you go. And bring her back. Yeah. They would have to give you back, though, because Mommy would go crazy without you. 
Oi, mommy's throwing a kissy. She don't like it. Oh, poor lady. Oh, my goodness. Uh-uh. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't even want to think about that. My eight-pound baby tore me. Let mommy do with your pasty. Oh, I found it. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know you just lay wherever. They smell so good and are so cuddly. And they, they can't fight you back. They can't say ugly words. She has flicked me off a couple of times, though. Like, my fault, she has flicked me off. But keep in mind who her daddy is. Mario done that. Oh, she got her eyes wide open now. Here. Say hey. Have a great night. I'll talk to you tomorrow, baby. Ooh, yeah. That's good, though, for a preemie baby to be that much weight. Hell yeah, Becca, you tell him. Yeah, I was a phenomenal mama. I'll be a damn good me, mom. My oldest son said uh, when he had kids, he was wanting me to help him. And I was like, um, no, no, no. See, what happens is, being that I'm going to be a, a grandma, you do not choose when I get the babies. I choose when I get the babies. And I choose what I get to do okay. with the babies and then send them home. Oh my God, yes. I've been talking to you, Melissa, and how he always stole his, uh, he'll steal the phone and delete people's comments. Good night, Till. I will text you tomorrow. What? Really? Yes, everybody, please make sure y'all say a silent prayer for TL. She's got a lot going on, and she can really use all the prayers. Yeah, my first two were bigger. My son was 7'14", and 19, no, 20 inches long, Philip. And then Maria was 18 inches long and 8 pounds and 1 ounce. Yep, exactly. And, um, I really like this color. I overlined my lips way too much. Hey, Christine! You caught me. I'm getting ready to get off here in a few minutes. I just, I haven't done a long live in a while. Well, since the hospital, basically. So I wanted to jump on and chit-chat and just hang out with y'all. I mean, 17 in the house. Yeah. Mr. Mario turned into a vampire yesterday. I know, right, Amanda? It's just like you come back and you're like, hold up, what? You had a baby? When? Where? What happened? <laughs> Which I was already, um, I was like two months when I found out. Yeah, Felicity gave me a, a run for my money with my labor. Luna was easy as hell. They gave me potassium. They induced me. They broke my water, gave me some potassium. 
And I literally went to sleep. I know they gave me my epidural. I went to sleep. They woke me up, told me to push. I pushed her. She was out within two pushes. Felicity was stubborn as hell. I had to get my water broke. I had to get potassium. had the epidural put in. Went to sleep off and on. Hurting a little bit. And then she took a little bit longer to push. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, I bet. Yeah, potassium sucks. It makes the labor so much harder. That epidural helped me a lot. That's how I went to sleep. Ooh, I can't wait to see Char. Have a great night. Mm -hmm. it, it was bad. And they said it. She was trying her hardest for me not to have to get Pitocin. I know I'm not saying it right. But, um... Because she figured, you know, ninth baby, this would be easy. I always had easy labors. She broke my water. I was already four, a little bit over four centim uh, centimeters. So she's like, oh, well, once we break your water, it'll go pretty quick. They already had the epidural and everything sitting outside the room because they figured, like, it was going to be like, bam, you know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Felicity was stubborn, y'all. She came with a full bag of tricks before treats for sure because that little girl would give me contractions but i would not dilate have a great night kendra i hope you have an awesome day at school tomorrow oh no yeah she 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 gave me hell so she was a true blue Halloween baby because she had a, lots of treats before treats. Oh my God, I bet. And what was funny, y'all, I, I, wigged the, I wigged the nurses out. Like, let's just get into a little bit of detail here. So, you know, after the epidural, your legs, you can't really feel your legs. And you're supposed to have help getting up. Well, I had to go to the bathroom, of course. And I was like, okay, I need to get up. Well, they come in there to help me up. And I could feel my legs. But it won't. Like, they were still wobbly a little bit. But it won't too bad. Ooh, y'all don't have school? Yay. We have school for Monday and Tuesday here. And um, so I went to the bathroom. I got the, the nurses had... Went to my bed while I was in the bathroom so they could change my bed and all that stuff. Because I had to wait in the labor room for about three hours before a room came available for me and Felicity to get into after birth. And so, like, they were in there and I get up and I start walking and I go over to the bed and stuff. And I sit down and they're like, where the hell did you come from? You were not supposed to move until you come back in there to help you. And I was like, it's okay. I got this. I got this. Let me tell y'all, I went in there, I got my clothes, I got cleaned up, put my clothes on, put my damn shoes on, and was sitting in the labor and delivery bed, ready for my room. When I got to my room, the nurse was like, I have to check you, and I was like, okay. And she was like, I've never seen anybody come in here fully clothed and ready to go. And I was like, I don't like the hospital gowns at all. I'm not comfortable in them. I didn't have the baby. Um, I'm good. She was like, I hear you, pro. <laughs> it was just so funny because their reactions were hilarious. And she had even told, like, the next shift nurse, she was like, let me just tell you, you dealing with a pro right here because this girl came in fully clothed, shoes on, and everything ready to go when she got in her room <laughs> all right Keila. i was ahead of the game that was for sure i was just ready to get out of that damn gown i feel ucky in the gown i had to be laying there for like an hour and a half hold you know when you do laying on the baby on you <laughs> 
Oh yeah, it was funny. Aw, thank you. Yeah, I still got some weight to lose, for sure. So a little swollen. I gotta start wearing my Faja for sure. She's doing really good, Melissa. Like, really good. A lot better than I anticipated, for sure. Aw. Oh, thank you, sonny. What do you think, girls? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I was just, I was ready, like Amanda said, I was ready to go smoke too. I was like, okay, we need to get in my room because I need to go downstairs. Because around here, you can't smoke on the premises. You have to go down and out to the road. And I was ready, like, been ready. Uh, depends on where, because I have both of my thighs done, like, right here. I have this whole part done, and that shit hurts. Yeah, I did that, too. I was like, I'm not walking all the way down. I'll close the car. But yeah, um, now my most painful tattoo was this right here because of all the detail. But for the most part, tattoos are therapeutic for me. So I have to say, depends on where really. And how much pain you can tolerate. My dumbass. And when I say dumbass, because I'm a dumbass, I've had, I have nine or ten, y'all don't see that, tattoos. Oh, y'all so didn't see that. <laughs> I about busted my ass. That would have been bad. Um, but I knew better. I knew better. I got this tattoo for my dad. Before he passed away when he was sick. Never lose hope. Um, I took a break. I wanted to go smoke. And I took a break. Don't ever take a break with a tattoo. Unless you're going to take a break for a couple of days. Because it was not fun guys. Yeah. At least. If I can get through the initial. Like natural labor. Mm -mm. Screw that. That Pedro label ain't as bad. It's recovery a little bit better. Um, I slept through this one. This one didn't hurt at all. <coughs> this one didn't really hurt. Um, this one up here. Hold on. Right there, I got for my dad. It says, time waits for no one. And it has the hourglass and an old timey watch. It it didn't really hurt. My thighs didn't hurt, but up close to my hip and down towards my kneecap hurt like hell. Hey Ashley, like hell, like it felt like needles going through my leg. Now I don't have none on my lower back. I need to get uh, yeah. I want to get some more done on my back and then I want some more done on my arm of course <laughs> yeah my cousin she's a tattoo artist I have two male cousins that do tattoos and I have a female cousin that does tattoos my female cousin does tattoos she works at a legit tattoo parlor and she is badass she has a dermal ring like a diamond ring right here inside of a skull's head it's so freaking badass like his eyes are diamond and she said out of everything that hurts the worst because when you hit it it bleeds and stuff you have to have a band-aid on it for a while 
But she has a couple of dermals. Oh, thank you. Ooh. But yeah, I need it. I gotta get. See, this one didn't hurt though. I've got this right here. And that's what the guy had told me. He was like, um, tattoos on fatty places hurt worse than um, around other places. That one didn't hurt me. My neck didn't hurt me. My butterfly hurt a little bit because of the shading. Not too bad. Now, on my legs, on this side of the leg, I have all my kids' names and stars. And I have a crescent moon going up my hip. And it's around clouds. And I have five stars. I have to go and get Luna's. I have seven stars. I have to go get Luna's and Felicity's done. And then on my other side, I have a big ass dream catcher. And it says Cherokee Pride around it. That didn't hurt. The feathers hurt because it's around my knee. That's it. Ooh. That's an awesome opportunity, Becca. I can't wait to see some of your work. Let me make a trip. Ooh. Hey, Melissa, whenever your baby gets a little bit bigger, it might be something you want to go back into. You never know. Tattoos for me is very sentimental and very memorable, like, because it's something you hold on your body forever. Right? It's like, ooh. Twenty four hours. Oh my gosh, I would die. I thought Felicity was long and it literally went from it was less than twelve hours. It was twelve thirty, one thirty, two It was eight hours and like 15 minutes long with Felicity. From, from the time they broke my water. Yeah, I need to get a tattoo for my brother. A memorial tattoo for my brother. I've got one for my dad, like I said. Um, let's see. It says, time waits for no one. It says, my heart skipped a beat on February 19th, 2016. It says, daddy's baby girl forever and always m love my daddy. And then an old timey hourglass because he used to tell me all the time, like, time waits for no one just could, like, slow your roll and stuff because I was always working my ass off. I worked third shift. I missed a lot with my other kids because I worked so much. And I regret a lot of it. But at the same time, I knew I had to provide for my family. I knew I had to take care of my dad. I had to take care of my mom. I had to take care of my kids. I was the only provider. My dad was on disability, you know, so I had to. And, you know, working long hours is the only way I was going to get paid. So I had to do what you had to, you have to grind when you have to grind, you know. It comes with it. I've worked since day one, since I've had my first child. I worked in tobacco when I was 15. I worked in pine straw right after that. I went to uh, a factory as soon as I turned 18. Um, I went to a couple other factories and stuff. And then I became a PCA. I worked in a nursing home, became a PCA. Yup. 
After that, I became a med tech. I started training for a med tech, became a med tech. I was a manager at Pizza Hut for a couple years. Shit, I had my twins, y'all. No lie. I had my twins. Two days after I had my twins, I went back to work at Pizza Hut. Because I was a manager there and they were so short-staffed, I had to go back to work. Two days after I had my babies. Not just one, two babies. After I had my twins, I went back to work. And how to do the damn thing. We, we, I mean, when you play in both roles, you kind of got to play both roles. And so thank God for my mom and dad always being there for me and helping me out with the kids. Because I wouldn't have been able to do it without them for sure. So I've been very blessed. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been taking care of my mom and dad since I was 15. I felt my mama living on the streets when I was seven months pregnant with my son. And then, yeah. And, um, oh my gosh, sis. And then I found my dad two months after that. He was living in his truck in his sister's yard. She wouldn't even let him stay in the house. But she was taking money from him because, like, he was doing side works and stuff. She would take money from him but wouldn't let him sleep in the house. Um, no. So I bought them both in. I took care of them. It's just the baby. What's like? What you upset about, girl? Let me tell you. This girl pissed me off. I would never do that. Never do that to somebody because first of all, everybody's pain level is different. Everybody's tolerance is different. But when you're 15 and you're laying in labor and delivery and you're scared to death, and this is your first child, my cousin's girlfriend came up there because like all my family came to see me. Yes, you do, Amanda. We miss you. Um, and she was sitting there and she was watching my contractions go up. And I was like at 126 something. I don't know. I can't remember. But she gonna look at me talking about some. Oh girl, that ain't nothing. My labor was a lot worse than that. That ain't nothing. Bitch, mind you, I'm the one laying in this bed in, in labor right now. Ain't nobody's pain irrelevant to my pain right this second. Leave me alone. And it's my first baby. And I was scared to death. And I was wanting a damn cigarette. Like, it was bad. I was ready to jump up off that bed and smack her. Stupid. Because at that time, that's when I fought all the time. I would, I love fighting. I used to love fighting. I fought a couple of girls when I was eight months pregnant. I fought a girl when I was nine months pregnant. I fought a girl when I was seven months pregnant. Like, I didn't care. I fought all the time when I was younger. And this girl up in my face telling me, oh, my pain is irrelevant. I, She don't know what I'm hurting for. That ain't nothing. Get out of my room. And that's all I said, too. The nurse walked in. They're standing there. My mom's standing there. My friend is standing there. They had drove us to the hospital. And the nurse comes in, and she was like, okay, when you get ready to push, you can only have two people in here. Who would you like in here? And I was like, my damn mama and Keela. Keela. Uh, I can't even say it right because it's not Keela. It's Ke I can't say my friend's name. She used to be my friend. She passed away now. But Yeah, I was nowhere near ready. I was scared to death. I didn't know what was going on. I was doing this all by myself. I had just got connected back up with my mom. Back up with my dad. I was scared to death. I left my home when I was 12. And I went and stayed with friends. And had friends. You know. Helping me out and stuff like that. So I was scared to death. And for you to sit here in my face. Like this close. And I'm laying there about to break, break the bed. Because I'm hurting. And you're going to tell me my pain is irrelevant.
Like, uh -uh. ooh, you was 11 years old? Girl. Ooh. <sighs> That's tough. Uh, 15. Which I was shy of 15. I was, I should have had him on my, right before my birthday. He was due July 12th. And I would have still been 14 having him. But because he was two weeks late and my birthday is July 13th, I had him July 23rd. And so technically I was 15 when I had him. Yeah, that's a extremely scary star. <laughs> That's cool. Good night. Yeah, I'm getting ready to get off here. I can't wait. No problem. Anytime. Oh, okay. Yeah, she left home when she was 11. She had her first child at 18. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here the whole time. Y'all are freaking phenomenal. You should so take a picture, Christine. Yeah, that's uh, Christine. That's that's hilarious. Cause I hear, go ahead, cut my nails, Mama. Get my nails done. Love you. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off here. Like I said, I have many, 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 many stories. Um, I don't mind sharing all in any experience I've had with y'all. Y'all know that. Uh, oh, yay, Scooby-Doo. I don't know, I saw the new Scooby-Doo. I think it was Halloween cartoon one. I wanted to watch because I watched the new one already. It's good. We own it. I love it. I love you all. Thank y'all for being here. Don't forget Tuesday night I go live again at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And then Bobby goes live right behind me at 9 p.m. Eastern time. So stay tuned for those. Girl, you're fam. You always be welcome with open arms. I love you, Amanda. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you, Melissa, for stopping in. I love y'all all. Thank y'all all for being here. Listen to me rant and rave. Hey, Amara, good night. Thank you for coming. Amara always sneaks in here, and I don't ever see her. I know. It's bittersweet. I was literally crying the other day to one of those songs talking about how they grow up so fast. Time waits for no one and shit. And I was just boohooing in the car on the way home. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out if you didn't on the way in. I love y'all so much. I will be I will be posting up a video tomorrow. I want to try to start the series tomorrow. If not, it'd be some random vehicle. No problem. I'd be loud for both of us, Elvira. Love y'all. Bobby, call me if you're not doing shit. Love y'all. Bye. Yeah, don't forget to come back. Hashtag Beauty Squad. That helps the newcomers know that y'all want us to connect, support each other, grow together. Love y'all.